Tripod's janked mate, tripod's on its way out. I need a new tripod, dear Santa. Testies, testies, Santa's sack. <laughs> Hold on, let's... Hello, welcome to another video. Today I'm out in the woods and it's been a while because I've been busy doing my long distance hikes and me, me three peaks shenanigans. I'm just gonna put my leg on this log like a, an adventurer look, if you don't mind, like that. Probably that sort of stance, just in case you were wondering what's going on down here, is that. Uh, yeah, so I've been busy with all that and I've just thought to myself, before I head off on any big adventures or whatever, I just want to come and do a classic hammock dangle in the woods, cook up a little bit of food and just chill and just be. And uh, also let you have a look at my new beer that's uh, just come out with Northern Monk. I've only got one beer and that's the one that I'll be having today, so I'm excited about it. What's that over there? I might have just found a shroom. Nah. I mean, it is a mushroom, but it's not edible. I might have to go a little bit further afield. Got the old Oppenel. Focus face. Let's go and have a quick, a quick forage for some shrooms, see what we can find. Is there more? Ah. Oh, there's one here, look. That's a bit haggard. Ah. Here we go. <laughs> right, we're in. We're in. I'll let you have a quick look at this, look. A hedgehog mushroom. You can tell this because of the, uh... come on focus face, you'll see these little, it's all them falling off like little, instead of gills, it's got these little downward spines that are like, obviously that's where it gets its name from, the hedgehog mushroom. And they are edible, but they're just, I find they get oh, all over the place, all over your bag. And then if you're cooking with them, it can make your dishes quite unsightly, having all them in there. Um, if you get a big batch of them, you can take all them off and do different things with them, put them in an omelette or whatever, they're good for flavouring. That's an alright one, isn't it? Look at that. I think we're... Uh, this one's a little bit older and wiser. <laughs> See them all flying off there, look. Clean it up a little bit, short back and sides. Something for the weekend, so you're going anywhere nice on holiday. That'll do for me tea, look. A little slack handful of hedgehogs. Come on, focus in your shoes, why? One day, lads, I promise I'm going to sort this out. Get a camera that's just good at it. There you are. Slack handful of uh, hedgehogs for me tea. There's also, while I'm down here, there's this thing here, look. This is not, you don't want this for your tea. Fly agaric. Or fly agaric, whatever, however you want to pronounce it, little baby diddler. That'll make you trip your dick off though, you don't want that. You don't need that, that'll make you poorly. No, I'm not even going to pretend to walk off. Too tired, let's go. I've been in tents so much of late, it's nice to be back out in the old dangler. Specifically the DD, the DD Dribalo. Frontline hammock. Let's get it set up. Tree goes round. The longer obviously it comes out here, the more it's gonna sag down. I call this a snake skin, which just is a, a nice easy way to store your hammock. Just wrap it all in there. Very easy. Usually I have these, which are soft, soft shell carabiners. It's, that, it's just Amstel. Amstel? Amsteel, whatever it's called. Been a while, thread. And that creates a carabiner. But I found that it always gets caught on this whoopee sling here. And I'm forever just mucking about with it to try and get it off. So I've got these. Big boys. Big boy big boy carabiners. You see that? Right, that's my hammock set up. It's always nice to have a little like just sit in it just to 
Oh, mate, just to see if anything cacks itself. Ah, oh, we're good. <laughs> oh. oh, I've missed it. I've missed it, Mr. Potato Head. Right, so it comes with these collapsible spacers. Kevin spacers widens the whole thing, stops the bug net getting on your face, like that. And then there's your bungee cord, which I've tied up, that goes on this side, and that'll come up look and create a load of room for you, for your bonts. Tarp of choice, the DD Super Light ha uh, tarp. And I've just ta attached these little carabiners to all these hoops so that it's a quick, if you want to change the figuration from square to diamond or however you want to do it you can just take these off and it's pretty quick to do what I've got here is just a simple Prusik knot attached to a bit of shock cord and then onto the carabiner and so it can slide back and forth if I've got my hand on it it'll slide the shock cord just gives it a little bit of give in high winds and then with the Prusik knot it slides and then if you put a bit of tension on it there you go uh, there, now it won't slide back until you go use your hands. So I don't think the light is good enough for um, for this. So all the bottoms up at top, and then round once. I'm gonna go twice, twice round, and then these two go back through. There, simple as that. There's your Prusik knot. God, odd buzzard face is making a bit of a, a racket, isn't he? The midges are out in force, chinning me. Oh, I didn't bring any smidge or a head net or anything. <laughs> Sweet as. They're just going to, hopefully the fire will get rid of them. It's another reason why I need to get a fire going. There we go. Pretty simple. And that's what I wanted, mate, just like a... Uh, a really high tarp so that I can see 360 degrees around me. Uh, it's pretty sheltered here by the trees so I can't see me getting too peppered by the wind. Just to lift this corner I've put a stick through the loop at the corner of the tarp. I've just tied it to this stick here and left it there. It's not going to go anywhere. It's pretty heavy that so there you go. Here we go the DD Frontline DD Ultralight tarp. I've got my lantern just on a ridge line that I've, I've put in there myself um, I've got the extherm tonight because I don't want to be cold because you lose a lot of you lose a lot of heat through the bottom of you when you're sleeping in hammocks so it's good to have insulation underneath you preferably some of that ain't going to be compacted so this I found this airbed just works perfectly Trekology pillow so the new sleeping bag is Mirab it's a Rab Neutrino 600 Autumn Spring Sleeping Bag because I might just be using my Alp Kit 400 for summer I think now because it's a bit worse for wear but the funny thing about this is it's not funny but it is a thing I'm yet to sleep in it but look at this this is officially now my favourite sleeping bag and I'll tell you why well it's got a lot of good features on it but <laughs> The reason I love it so much is because um, I was invited over to RAB headquarters in Sheffield in, uh, to spend the day and I made this look. Well, I say I made it. I did help make this very sleeping bag, this RAB sleeping bag. I filled it full of down, blasting all this, uh, all this down into all these baffles and then spraying it all off. Um, yeah, so I had a hand in making this, my very own sleeping bag. So I'm so happy about that. If you're watching anyone from Rab, I appreciate it, mate. Thanks very much. Look at it, man. Look at the neck baffles on it. I filled that neck baffle full of down. There you go. <laughs> my own sleeping bag. That shall treasure for years to come. It's taken over the Alp kit. Because my Alp kit 400, I had, I've had that for like, I've had it a long time, maybe five years or something. So it's nice to have something else, a little bit warmer. 
and maybe a little bit suited for this style of camping. Put my lantern up there, look. Is that right to do? Yeah. That's bang on, is that? <laughs> I'll tell you what, the difference is between this sort of camping as well and like mountain camping and stuff is there's a lot more hard work involved with this stuff. You know, you have to have a bit more, you're a bit more about you. You have to have a bit more base knowledge, you know. Or it helps anyway to know your knots, know your different woods, know how to collect wood, start a fire, the safe way to, to dismantle and hide your fire, you know. So there's a lot more to it. And I do like it, it's a lot more to do. Um, and if I'm honest, I was, I was daunted, it was, it was daunting. Coming out, I was on my way and I was like, ah, oh, mate, am I, have I got this, have I got that? Can I still do this, do that? It's, uh, it takes a lot more out of your brain, but it's so much more satisfying. And once I'm out, this is what I started doing before YouTube, mate, I was doing this sort of stuff. Being out in woods and doing bushcraft and stuff. So it's, it's kind of second nature and it feels good to be back out, sharpening up some skills. And doing the donkey work as well, which I'm about to do now. I forgot my gloves, which is one of the main things I've forgot, is my uh, Hestra leather gloves, because I've got um, I've got my cast iron pan with me. So to not have anything to hold it with is dangerous. Right, look at this beast. Let's go and get some wood. That's dead. That's dead as you like. That's dry, so this will do me just this little bit here. Will do me for the night. And it's been suspended from school. It's been suspended from this tree. So it's not been on the ground. So it ain't gonna come here. It ain't gonna be full of water. So we'll just use this little thin bit first and break this down just to get the fire going. I don't want a big fire, so I'm just gonna make a little, a little pit. About yay big. So knife of choice for this trip is going old school, customized SE3, customized by my boy Luke over at York Knife. It's been a while since I've took it out, mate, and I just wanted to. Got a little bit of red cedar. I'm just gonna chuck that in there, fluff it up, that'll go. Seems we're in a pine forest or woodland. We're losing light, aren't we? Aren't we, moosh? Let's just shave a few bits off. It ain't gonna take that much to, to get going, really. Um, all, all old boys are coming out now, look. The old fire steel. big load of twigs on <laughs> and there it is Have I got time? Have I got enough light, in fact, to have a chat with you? I haven't, have I? Right, well, it's what we're going with anyway, because we haven't got any other options. Get me on one of them cans, get me on a John Peeler. I'm on a John Peeler, mate, look. And there's me, uh, 
in my bare feet above on Ben Nevis above the clouds. And it's a John Peeler, so I'm in there, look. All for calm, there's a little survival tip there that you can do with the can. And then there's me there for calm. And there's just a little blurb that I, that I wrote myself about um, mental health and against and, and, and about the campaign and about the charity and everything so I'm really proud of it and they've left a link to the Just Giving page as well so and I've not tried this yet so I wanted to try it with you lot just to say cheers um, I, I set my target at three grand and the last time I checked it was on 11,600 Hold on, double salute for that one because that was that's insane, mate. Um, and it's coming to the time now where I'm going to have to close the Just Giving page down and give the money to Calm. And I just wanted to say a massive heartfelt thanks to everybody who sponsored, or even if you just watched from the sidelines cheering <laughs> or not cheering, booing, even if you were just involved in it in any way. So, this is Northern Monk, mate, and it came in my Patreon's box. So, people ask where I get all my fancy beers from. Uh, Northern Monk, obviously, but and I get a box every month with a load of heavy hitters in it, not just your standard beers. And one of the beers is always a, like a wild card, like it's something that you only get in your Patreon's box. And this was in the Patreon's box. I was absolutely over the moon. They've given me a discount code. I've, I've said it on Instagram before, but I'll tell you, it's just Hayes at checkout and you'll get 10% off your subscription boxes if that's your thing. Drink responsibly and choose your times as well. Choose your parties. <laughs> Quality over quantity. Right, let's have a go. So yeah, I'm going to close this down, but something else I'm going to be doing on Instagram just before I close it down. A guy who has actually done a drawing of me, which is crazy, and he, he reached out, Munro, a brilliant artist, he reached out and he said, I'm I'm going to draw, I'm going to paint the three peaks in black and white on canvas. Do you think if I did that and you sort of autographed it or whatever in green, you want to auction it off for the charity? And I thought, do you know what? Yeah. That's a great little full stop in this particular, uh, in, this, in this little adventure. That's the perfect full stop. So I'm going to, I'll put pictures of it on there, on here now, I'll show you. But I'm going to, I've got, he sent me a green acrylic pen as well. So against the black and, and white. Whoever wins the auction, I'm going to sign it. So if your name's, um, I don't know, Malcolm, it'll be, or whatever, to Malcolm, love, easy. Kiss, 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 whatever. And, or whoever you want it signed to. It'll be a personally signed, anyway, um, hand-drawn painting, like an original of the Free Peaks. So I'm going to auction that off on Instagram. So if you want to follow me on Instagram, I'll leave a link below. And you can get involved with that little bit of little bit of niche history <laughs> and then that'll be the full stop once that's been uh, auctioned off hopefully we can get to the 12k mark and then we're going to close it off and give all the money to calm which is just amazing so thank you very much to everyone i'm absolutely blown away oh my god we're going in oh what can we say there is no words is there drive by that is fruit Oh my God. You remember Woolworths? Remember Woolworths Pick a Mix? It's like someone's just smashed my face and dragged me along Woolworths Pick a Mix. Oh, it's juicy. Oh, mate. Oh, yes. Oh, that is good. Do you know what? That is good. And I'm not just saying it. I say it about all Northern Monk beers, but come on. It's 6%, so it's sort of get your nappies on. Sent kids off to grandparents' house and just get a couple of these down you. And it's the Haze Outdoors Bear Your Soul Hazy IPA. Uh, absent friends, and just to you lot, thank you very much. I, I wish I could have a beer with all of you, but it cost an absolute fortune, wouldn't it? <laughs> to all you lot, thank you very much. <laughs> I don't have my chair with me, I'm back on floor, back on floor, back to my roots, literally, sitting on roots. <laughs> Whatever mate, alright yeah, right cheers, absent friends. Mm. Nice one. 
Right, I'll leave that to heat up because it's cast iron, so it's going to have to uh, heat up my beauty. I'm going to go in with the mushrooms now, just tear them with my hands, chuck them into the pan. Spot on. Bit of Tubby Toms is going on the steak. So that steak will be done. Awesome, awesome wells. Schoolboy error. I didn't charge my um, head torch after the last time it ran out, so I'm on. Well, luckily, I've got my lantern. Look at that. Tell me that doesn't look delicious. Look, hedgehog mushroom. Mmm. Picked less than less than an hour ago. The texture at buzzard or owl. It's a lovely texture, firm. A lovely flavour as well. Served on a hot skillet, the hot skillet is cooking it man. Oh my battery's running out. Quick focus, look at that. Tell me that don't look good. Huh? <laughs> Charred on the outside and then uh, just nice and pink in the middle. Mmm. As tender as you like. Juicy. And I'm having that with some leaves. Just salad leaves. Mm. Ha. I'm boiling greens into my face. Crack on and devour the rest of this. I've had me tea. I only had one beer. I've got stuff to do tomorrow, so... I just wanted to share one of my beers with you and uh, I've just had a real chilled one it's been it's been mint there's been a little hole in the canopy and I've seen the stars and just a chilled evening and now I stink of fire smoke and it's everything is how it should be he's so peaceful mate and nice in his hammock look got a little lantern set up new sleeping bags all nice and toasty it's happy days, mate. Oh. <laughs> right, unless some uh, unless some mint or shit happens, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Slept better than I've slept in ages. I've had a bit of insomnia and, and uh, not very good sleep hygiene of late and that night's sleep I've just had there was unbroken and delightful. And speaking of delightful, have a, have a go on this. Just dangling in hammock mate. Stunning man. Square away the fire and disappear like a ghost. Ghost recon. Let's get up. For anyone who suffers from sort of 
insomnia and broken sleep and all that sort of just bad sleep you'll know how good how like it's so rare to have a night like that where <clears throat> I went to sleep at like maybe 11 after 10 11 and I didn't wake up I honestly slept through till after six o'clock about 10 past six unreal for me that Unreal with that. Oh, you get a stuff sack with it as well. Oh, mate. Good. I'm not going to do any cooking. I don't want to relight my fire. Your love is my only desire. But because... Um, I'm, uh, two reasons. I'm not doing... I'm not doing breakfast at the moment. And also... Even if I lit my fire for a coffee... <clears throat> There's not enough, I don't have enough water and I'd have to walk to a water source and keep coming back to put the fire out properly. Whereas it's had all night to go out now. I'll, st I'll, just, I'll still check it and, and whatnot, but I want to make sure the fire's properly out before I skip off into the sunrise. Before I crush it and put it in me my bag <laughs> good stuff delicious as well do one of these ones There she be. There she blows, look. Be easier. I had my gloves. So it's it's dead. Completely dead. And I took all these gubbins out of it. Look. This is where I've had my fire. No trace left, no trace of my campsite, no Tracy Chapman, that's it. I feel invigorated, probably always say this but it, this is tr like, what a sleep, glorious kick. Lovely mate, lovely to be back out in the woods. Lovely to be back in the hammock. I've absolutely loved it. As soon as I made it pillar, I was just gone. And I, that rarely happens to me. I didn't even get up for a piss, which is just... Mother Nature heals yet again. Um, if you want to see what's going on with the, um, with the painting, the Three Peaks painting, I'm going to be auctioning that off on my Instagram. So come over and check it out if you want. Over there, I'll leave a link below. And thanks to you lot, thanks for sponsoring. Thanks to anyone who's sponsored actually, because there's loads of you. So thank you. I can't get back to everyone. I, I see all the messages and, and the donations and it's massively appreciated. Um, and rest in peace, Paul Warburton. And big up Paul Warburton's family. I know a few of you have reached out to me and, uh, and, um, and said thanks, but <laughs> thank you. Thanks to everyone, thanks everyone. <laughs> nah mate, nah I'm a stay mate. I'm humbled, humbled by uh, by the support on that one. And we've done a good thing for a good charity. So it's, it's, it's all love, it's all love. Thank you very much. I'll see you soon, take care. Bye. I'm not coming back. I'm off mushroom hunting anyway. Thanks. How many times did I say thanks? Loads. Because I do appreciate it. I appreciate you. Every single last one of you. Thanks for watching. Love you. Bye.